Hi guys, Jesse said you wanted a garden tour. And he said I might be the best to give it because I actually know what the heck is going on. So this is our deer proof garden because those have a lot of deer in them and they would eat everything. This side is my cut flower garden. So I have snapdragons here. They overwintered and are gonna boom. And then we've got our dahlias in here too. All these spots. And over here. And then that's a hollyhock. And then these are like a mystery seed. I just found an envelope of and decided to try it. So I threw those in. And we've got some more flowers, sunflowers, some little asters. Mobilia, Australomeria. I grew that too. <laughs> um, doo -doo, I can't remember what that's called. And then I've got some sunflowers that are popping up here that I planted seeds. Well, this is where the junco get it to focus. Junko decided to nest right here because they have bird brains. All right, sweet peas. So this is all the outside. And these are the strawberries that I planted one small row a few years ago. And, and then I put some worms in. And whenever I ate a strawberry, I planted it in there. I planted the rest in there. So, so that's the how it got so big. <laughs> the soil is really happy and I And I had my, um, the best strawberry I've ever had in my life here. We grew it. They really, they're delicious strawberries. Um, once they start kind of fruiting, I'll hang some more of like this stuff around to keep the birds from eating it, but they don't seem to bother it too much. The rabbits and the squirrels are worse. Um, but yeah, it just spread like crazy. So these are more cut flowers. And there's a couple different growing times. So these guys all go first, and then there's some zinnias that I popped in here too that'll hopefully come up. And then on this side, we've got our potatoes. And these are just came out of our CSA that we ended up not eating. So decided to plant them in this potato bag. These are some lettuces, a mixed green. This is the water. Yeah, this is my irrigation system. Drip line. Tomato the neighbor gave us. For a while, we didn't buy anything because of the Rona. Lettuce. So these are beans. I did end up buying these, but these are the beets that I just found. And lettuce. Old seeds. That's actually kale. And Here's lettuce. the lettuce seed. Yeah, these are the mixed greens that I planted. It's happier in this pot for some reason. More some more kale. kale. So what we'll do is one of these kales... Probably this one I'll let get real big and hardier. And then these we will harvest as we go. And then these are the carrots. I'm doing research on how not to thin carrots. So we'll see. But they're specifically, I, the beets too, are specifically oh, like... Oh, there's a tomato too. I know. Right there. Um, the beets I got were like long skinny beets. Or... That I got, that I found. We'll see. Carrot. Shallots. And then my favorite tomato over there. It's really the yummy. Gold. They're yeah. really yummy. That one tastes like And candy. when they're ripe, and then when they're ripe, we get to... Um, my mom says we um, can, like, take some tomatoes because they grow out of the place. Yeah, so I'm going to do steaked tomatoes this year instead of caged so I'm plucking off all the little um, suckers so hopefully it'll grow tall 
And then this guy too, I'm hoping to, I've been plucking off all the little suckers and he will hopefully then I can just have him grow up these here. And then the green beans are gonna go insane because that's what they do. And so I'm and gonna really actually yummy. attach a couple poles from here to the house. Here, I'll show you. So that'll be like a, like an archway from here to here. So we'll be able to walk under green beans and just open our mouths and catch them. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. Oh, but what about a big garden in the sun?